Hi, everybody. Miss Lee here. Uh, so we're going to go over uh, the Unit 8 Progress Check Part A, Number 8. Uh, so this is the question right here. It says, uh, over the time interval from 0 to 10, a particle moves along the x-axis. The graph of the particle's velocity at time t is shown. Over the time interval from 0 to 10, the particle's displacement is 15, and the particle travels a total distance of 73. Uh, so what is the total distance that the particle travels while moving to the left? Okay, so this is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my drawing. Okay, so this is my drawing. It's not a great drawing, but it's got the important inform information. So what I want to point out to you right now is that this is the velocity graph. So since this is the velocity graph, uh, we want to think of this as, uh, you know, uh, the speed with a given direction that it's going at a certain time. So for example, over here, uh, it's going in a leftwards direction and it goes faster and faster and faster and faster. Then it slows down and it goes to zero and then it turns around and then it goes right and then it goes faster, 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 faster. And it slows down, slows down, slows down, slows down and then it stops and then it turns around again and then it goes left, 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 left. Okay, so that's the general idea of our velocity graph. And so as y'all know, uh, the total distance traveled would be all of the areas bounded by the curve and the x-axis added up. So that area plus uh, this area plus and then this area should add up to 73. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just label these A, uh, B. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and call this A as well. Okay, so A is going to be both of these. This is A1, and then this is going to be A2, but both of these are just going to be A, um, so added together. So A1 plus A2 is going to equal A. So all of the orange is just A, is what we're going to say A is. Okay, so A is going to be uh, the distance traveled when moving left. So ultimately, what we want to find is A. B is going to be the total distance while traveling to the right. Uh, and so uh, we want to kind of think about that. So uh, basically, A plus B should be the total distance traveled. So A plus B should equal 73. where displacement is going to be where it counts the A as negative. So if you count the A area, so all of the orange adds up to an area of A. If you count that as negative and you add that to B, so that would be B minus A equals displacement, which is 15. Okay, and so the reasoning again for that is because if you're traveling left here and then traveling right here, it kind of like offsets it. And so when you're asked for displacement, you're asked for the like, like total offset like number. So uh, this part you're turning left or going left, and then you turn around and you start going right, and then you turn around over here and you start going left. You're going to end up like walking more than you like actually travel because you like went back and forth. And so uh, that's why this displacement is less than the total distance traveled. Okay, so this is just a system of equations, and you'll see that this is a positive A, this is a negative A. So we can just add those two together. Uh, so if we add these two equations together, over here we get 88, and then on this side we get 2B. And so B equals 44. And then if you plug that in to either one of these equations, what you'll get here is you have 44, or A plus 44 equals 73. So that was just plugging in for B. Okay, so B is 44, and that's also that area up there. Uh, and then you subtract 44 from both sides, and you get A equals 29. And if you check that with this equation, so if you do B, which is 44, 
minus 25, 29, you do make sure that, or you do get 15, and so therefore it works. And so uh, your answer is 29, uh, which happens to be answer, answer choice B. So A is going to be, uh, in relation to what I have there, the answer choice, the correct answer choice is going to be B. Okay, thank you for watching. Happy day.